Hey guys, let's do it. Test corrections, number 12. So there's three children in the room, three, four, and five. If another four-year-old child enters the room. So this is before and this is after. Three children are in, three, four, and five. What would happen to the, they first want to know what would happen to the mean and then what would happen to the variance? Okay. <clears throat> so the mean, we add those numbers up and divide by three, so the mean is four, which makes sense. That's the number in the middle. Uh, when we have a four-year-old enter the room, we add up these numbers and we divide by four because there's four people there. So we got nine and seven, 16. 16 divided by four is four. So it looks like the mean age will stay the same. Okay, so, oops. <laughs> the mean age will stay the same. The mean age will stay the same. I, I want to I eliminate D and E. Okay, but how will, the, um, how will the variance change? So again, the variance is kind of like the um, Pythagorean theorem. If we think about this, a squared, we take a, we take b to find c, a squared plus b squared is c squared. So how does the formula with standard deviation work? It works like distances, and it's but it's instead of finding the distance between these two points, it's finding the average distance between a bunch of points. So it's saying, how far is the number three from the mean? And we know the mean is four. How far is number five from the mean? And we know the mean is four. So in both circumstances, this, this is one away from the mean. This is none away from the mean. That's one away from the mean. So it's adding this up. So one squared, zero squared, one squared. Adding all those up. And then we don't want to know, um, typically for standard deviation, we would need to take the square root of that information to find the number. And that's the standard deviation, the average amount that any number is away from the mean. Well, variance means standard deviation squared. So it's kind of like before I take the square root of it, this would be called the variance, and this is the standard deviation. Okay. So if the standard deviation gets bigger, then the variance is gonna be bigger too. Okay, so notice this one, the average amount the number is away from the mean, you have two that are right on the mean and two that are off the mean. So you actually have more that are on the mean now than you had before. Really interesting here, right? So the answer to 12 is B, the variance will decrease. And I think that this should make sense. Now on average, half of the numbers are on the mean, half are off the mean. Whereas before, two thirds of the numbers were off the mean, one was on the mean. So the spread outedness is less. So notice the variance here would decrease. Using kind of logic and a rough approximation of what, which is what we did in class, of the formula for standard deviation and variance. Um, so let me know if you have more questions on this and I can actually show you how to do this on a calculator and actually calculate the variance or using the formula sheet.
Number 13. Question, 40 pound bag of bird seed do not have exactly 40 pounds of seed. The weight should be close to that. A sample of 25 bags of bird seed had a mean weight of just under 40 pounds and a standard deviation of 0.25. So a mean of 39.5 and a standard deviation of 0.25. Which of the following is a correct interpretation of what standard deviation means? So as we said in the last question, standard deviation means a typical amount than any given number is away from the mean. Let's write that down. Standard deviation means a typical amount that any number in the distribution is away from the mean. So it's an average amount that a number is away from the mean average. It's like an average of an average, pretty cool. So in this example, it's saying on average, the sacks weigh 39 and a half. but not exactly. And so what they're saying is the amount that uh, the very, that a typical bag would vary from this Okay, so they're saying a typical bag weighs this and a typical bag would vary by about this from that. That's what standard deviation means. Now we have to pick which one sounds like that. Okay, so we kind of read through our choices here. And it looks like D, the distance between the weight of each bag and the bird seed and the mean weight was on average 0.2. So that's kind of like what we said last time, the distance away. So if this is 39 and a half, the distance away from any other number in the distribution, so this is where all the typical values are, and it's the distance away from that mean, a typical distance, which is the definition of standard deviation. So if you want to put D, you also might want to just jot down the words distance away from mean. All right, nice job. Let's look at number 14. A sample of 99 distances has a mean of 24 and a median of 24 and a half. Unfortunately, I can't see the questions. Unfortunately, it has just begun, just been discovered that the maximum value in the distribution was erroneous and was recorded at 40. Actually, it had a value of 50. If we make this correction to the data, then what happens? Okay, so a sample of 99 distances had a mean of 24 and a median. So we ask ourselves, is the mean to the right or the left of the median? So if the median is here at 24.5, and that's the median, we notice the mean is to the left. So this means it must be left skewed data. So maybe it's something that looks like this. Now they're saying, we just figured out that the max value, so the number all the way up here, whatever that is, 
however far that is. And we are not sure how much data is between here and there, but this value at 40 was recorded wrong and needs to be removed and fixed to be 50. So notice how it's gonna pull that mean up. Since there's 99 numbers in this distribution, let's see if this would affect the median. Okay, but it's definitely gonna pull the mean up. Just like on a test, if you begged the teacher to add 10 bonus points to your test, your, your average in the class or on that test is gonna pull up. So we know that the mean will not stay the same. The mean will not stay the same. We mean, we cannot determine. I don't think it's E. Okay, so let's look at this data on our piece of paper. So if we have 99 numbers, we know how the mean changes because we have an example of grades, but how would the median change? So the median is the number in the middle. So that would be, there's 49 numbers if I put all the distances in order, least to greatest. I put all the distances in order, least to greatest. 49 would be lower and 49 would be higher and there would be a number in the middle. Because 49 and 49 is 98. So there would be a precise number in the middle and that is the median. So they're telling us that the median is 24 and a half. Okay, so if we move the highest number from highest to even higher, this is still the number, if we ordered them least to greatest, this, still the number in the center of the data. So nothing changed with the median. The median remains the same, but the mean would increase. So there's our answer C. And again, what do you maybe put on your paper? You could again jot down this picture that if I cross out 40 and I add an even bigger number, 50, the mean will increase, but the median stays the same in this scenario.